Welcome to Physics Hub. Today I am going to discuss a very important problem and this problem is quite interesting and a little bit of advanced level also. So in first go let us see whether you can understand it or not. So let me read the question. This question is quite interesting. I have got this in this book. Uh, a magnetic field vector B equals to B naught J cap exists in the region A less than X less than 2A. So let me just first draw the given situation then it will be better for you to understand. So this is your x axis, uh, this is your y axis. So this is the origin and it has been divided in this way a, 2a, 3a, 3 equal uh, distance and in this region from a to 2a the value of the magnetic field is b0, okay, b0 and from this 2a to 3a the value of the magnetic field is minus b0. So it is nothing and from here you see it has become minus b0 in this region okay in between 2a to 3a so this is a scenario given to you okay the value of this magnitude if you want to represent this uh, magnitude of magnetic field mathematically you can just write it here b0 j cap Okay, and here it is on the negative side, you can write minus B naught J cap. Magnitude is same, but they are directed in the same, they are directed in the opposite direction. Okay, a positive point charge moving with the velocity vector V equals to V naught I cap. Now, a positive point charge is given to you, let us say plus Q, and it is moving with V naught I cap where V0 is a positive constant, enter the magnetic field at x equals to A. At this point, the charge enters into this magnetic field. Uh, the trajectory of the charge in this region can be like. So, okay. So, you are given four options, four curves and you have to identify which of the following curves represent the trajectory of this charge. Okay. So, how can we do this? We can uh, consider here at this point where this charge is entering into the magnetic field. Now, you know the Lorentz force expression. Lorentz force will act on this positive charge Q. Okay. The formula is F equals to Q into V cross B. Okay. So, the motion of the particle will be on the XZ plane because the field is on Y plane, XY plane. So, the motion will be on x z plane v cross b. Okay. So, let us say this is your z axis, this is your x axis, and this is a, then this is 2a, this is 3a. So, the uh, particle has entered into the magnetic field region here. So, here the Lorentz force will act, it will make a circular trajectory. So, this Lorentz force will be q into v cross b. So, v naught, v naught. Okay, the direction of V is I cap, direction of uh, V naught is J cap, so I cap of J cap is K cap. So, precisely this will be the force and this force if you take the magnitude, it will be balanced with the centripetal force in V square by R. And from here, we can find out the trajectory or oh sorry radius of the circular trajectory. So, the radius will be given by r equals to here also m v naught by v naught q. Okay. So, you can see here you will get a trajectory like this. So, the radius of the charge, so this will be a circle and the radius of this circular trajectory will be are given by this expression mv naught by vq and let us say it is moving in this way. This is in the xz plane. Okay. The magnetic field and the motion of the, uh, uh, the particle in uh, the direction is given in i cap and this uh, direction of magnetic field is given in j cap. So, it is x uh, basically confined in x y plane, but you see as a result of this v cross v the motion will be on the xz plane. Now, if this radius r is less than a, then the particle will remain in the above region only, mean into this region it will be constant. But somehow if this radius r 
is greater than a then this particle will come out into the next region here here how how will it come so you can just draw a tangent tangent here so in the lower part region it will come like this but here in the lower part region the direction of magnetic field is in the opposite direction so the direction of the particle circular trajectory will be opposite so you can see the first graph is matching with this kind of trajectory so effectively it is giving us a trajectory like this if you plot it along z axis if you plot it along x axis so it is giving like this so it is trying to make a circle here but because of this lower magnetic field it is going like this okay so this is the correct trajectory so option a is the correct option for this question thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question query you can just let me know in the comment section i'll try to clear them all thank you very much bye